change is a process not an event hello all uh, today i'll speak about a thought which i came across recently which is a long journey starts with a small step which is a very good thought uh, but the follow up question here should be does that single step guarantee you that you will complete your journey probably no it's a process right so there, there there is a saying that change is a process and not an event so how do we go about this process the secret here is whenever you find that you have a moment okay you're going forward you have to reinforce it you have to reward the small wins in that journey we'll take an example of trainers of exotic animals uh like the monkey who does the skateboarding right now just imagine the trainer of that monkey who who does the skateboarding do you think that on the first day itself it would go to the monkey and ask the monkey to come on let's skateboard and it will agree no it takes hundreds of sessions for the animal trainer to reach that behavioral destination is aiming for so first day when he goes to the monkey and the monkey freaks out seeing the trainer and the board skateboard in a cage and then after one a day or two when he when the monkey does not freak out seeing the board he rewards him with the mang- with the mango he gets a mango for the monkey and then after he has reached that behavioral destination then the next behavioral destination is the monkey is touching the skateboard after 3 or 4 days he's got used to it he gives him another mango and then after a few sessions ahead the monkey sits on the skateboard and then he rewards him in few more mangoes and then finally after the monkey lets him to move the skateboard back and forth he gives him few more mangoes so it takes hundreds of sessions for the trainer to you know get the monkey on a skateboard and perform so one more ex- uh, aspect here which is when the change has started it tends to feed on itself it has a snowballing effect in other words it's also called exposure effect it's actually a very a big secret revealed by the psychologists which says the more you get exposed to something the more you like it right and we'll take an example of eiffel tower in paris right when that eiffel tower was first erected at that point of time people did not like the place and they were like ye kya aadha adhoora bana diya hai yaar matlab it looks uh, it doesn't look good it, it it was a very good setting before and this this building is something they didn't like and in fact there were protests also but after some time when the people got exposed to that place resistance slowly turned into acceptance and then that acceptance turned into adoration so you see that they this had a snowballing effect because the more people got accustomed to it the more they started to like it right and very relatable example is working from home uh, there was a situation where the employees were forced to work from home right and quite a few of them were not very comfortable with you know doing on the laptop on a small screen at home and now 3 to 4 months have passed and we have got exposed to the situation where we have we are forced to work at home and now you see it is difficult for us to dislike this so now uh, to conclude let's go back to the thought as a long journey starts with a single step so for the completion of long journey uh, there are two things what we saw one is Uh, rewarding the small wins which we go through through the journey 
and the other one is whatever you are resisting expose yourself more to that situation and then automatically you will start to like it so thank you guys